What's up, internet? It's your new best friend, Lane Tolkien, or at least I hope I'm your new best friend, because if not, then that's a little awkward. But there's a lot I want to talk about today, so roll that intro. Remember like two weeks ago when I was talking about those drunk birds in Minnesota? Well, New Zealand has decided to upstage the entire state of Minnesota with this bird. So that bird is called the kadeidu, another word for wood pigeon. And just like the birds back in Minnesota, its favorite snack is fruit, which always ultimately ferments and that sugar becomes alcohol. So with that new information, the Royal Forest and Bird Protection Society of New Zealand runs a yearly vote to elect the country's bird of the year. I mean, they do it to bring awareness to the threats that birds of New Zealand have to face every single day. But in 2018 fashion, the people voted for a drunk bird. And I'd be willing to bet that our attitude towards pigeons in the US would be a lot more like New Zealand's if our pigeons just would get drunk every once in a while. Instead, our pigeons, they just ride the train like a human being, so boring. Happy Halloween. Okay, maybe not quite yet. Unless, like me, you believe Halloween is something that happens all month and is not just one day a year. Halloween is a monthly holiday. Anyway, the Blackhawks have decided to bring in some creepy new team members. Okay, so they're actually only there for practice and they totally make sense, you know, for the goalie to practice having basically a human screen in front of him or for the forwards and defense to practice shooting the puck or passing the puck around some other person on the other team. But these two, they're just, there's something uncanny about them, especially in their Blackhawks gear. So yeah, they serve a purpose, but that doesn't change the fact that they are definitely creepy. So I know I've now had two stories about drunk birds in this series. I now have two stories about alligators in this series, and we're only on episode three. I promise this show isn't entirely about drunk birds and alligators, but they keep making the news. However, our little four foot alligator from up in Waukegan off of Lake Michigan, and now named Dave after the person who found him, really pales in comparison to Chubbs. So obviously no one has gotten close enough to measure this guy, but he's probably 15 feet. He's definitely well fed and he likes to hang out at the Buffalo Creek Golf Course in Palmetto, Florida. His first viral appearance online happened back in 2016 and since then no one had really seen him or at least made a fuss about him until he ended up back online this past week. So I gotta be truthful, I didn't know he existed until this week. And judging by other people's reactions, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one. But when I first saw this new video, two things went through my mind. One, is that a dinosaur? And two, or is that some really good CGI? Obviously not, he's been around before. People remember Chubbs, named after a Happy Gilmore character. And I gotta be honest, I think I'd love to see him in person. Although coming across a four foot alligator would be scary enough. So I guess maybe I don't actually wanna meet Chubbs, especially if he is truly 15 feet. This just gives me another reason to not take up golf. All right, we've had our laughs. Now it's time to be serious. This isn't funny. I'm kidding, it totally is. So a little backstory, Nathaniel Green was a major general in the American Revolution. However, his monument in Savannah, Georgia got defaced by a pair of googly eyes. So once the city had figured out what had happened, this is the post they shared on Facebook. Who did this? Someone placed a googly eyes on our historic hashtag Nathaniel Green statue and hashtag Johnson Square. It's too many hashtags. It may look funny, but harming our historic monuments and public property is no laughing matter. In fact, it's a crime. 
We are hoping to find the person responsible. If you have information, please call Savannah Police Department. It seems like a little bit of an overreaction. I mean, I'm not sitting here saying, yeah, go ahead and vandalize your city's monuments, but it's just a pair of googly eyes. And unless they use like super duper crazy glue to put them on the statue in the first place, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be fine. Of course, the story itself is funny. When I came across this on Monday, I was laughing for a good like 20 minutes. I honestly wish I could say that was an exaggeration. But since this has happened, the best part in terms of the story has been the involvement of the rest of the internet outside of Savannah, Georgia. So let's take a look at some of the comments on other posts on that Facebook page that have nothing to do with the googly-eyed bandit. So this is a good one from October 11th, the same day that they posted about the googly-eyed bandit. Call 311 or this number if you see an issue. You know, good information if there's an issue and you have to report it. But the comments. Who should we call if we see googly eyes? I mean, it's a good question. It's already happened once. Do they call 311 if it happens again? And that's exactly what this guy asks. Should I call 311 to report rampant googly eyes in my neighborhood? They haven't answered. Savannah, get on this. You gotta find the googly eye bandit. And now here we have another post, which is from October 10th. Apparently Hurricane Michael had not hit yet. Please secure your trash carts. First of all, trash carts? Aren't they called trash cans? Please secure your trash carts so they don't blow over during hashtag Hurricane Michael. There will be no trash collection tomorrow. Not surprising. Thursday's trash collection will not take place on Friday. Comments. A trash can with some googly eyes. This also brings up another question. That post about Hurricane Michael was on October 10th, and the post about the googly eyes on Nathaniel Green's monument was posted on October 11th. So does that mean the googly eye bandit put the googly eyes on the monument during Hurricane Michael? It's a good question. There's so many questions involving this entire story and apparently it's made it around the world and it's really funny if you ever feel frustrated with the state of things in the world just go find the city of savannah government on facebook so those are my stories for this week there was more that i wanted to talk about but i don't want this video to go for 20 minutes and i get to try a new well new for me but a new and strange food today so a friend of mine who was on air at this station on wednesday nights from 9 to 11 brought in this food for me to try. That's why it's open, it's not mine. And I'm guessing I won't eat all of them, but it's a German snack, which I've never heard of before until now. And I don't know exactly how to pronounce these words, but I know in English, it basically says salty herring. Thankfully, it's not actually fish because I hate seafood, but it's black licorice, which I'm not a fan of either. And I'm not sure salt is gonna make it much better. I'm definitely more nervous to try this than I was the mac and cheese candy canes. And I'm quite certain it has to do with the fact that I like mac and cheese. Actually, I kind of, I love mac and cheese. I do not like, especially do not love licorice. So some of them are curved like you see on the bag there. But the one I have is not. Just like last time, I'm smelling it rather than eating it. it smells sweet, but that's supposed to be salt on there. I don't want to try it. My body's like, yo, you don't like licorice. Don't do this. Let's just do it. Uh-uh, uh-uh, no, 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 uh-uh, no, 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 no. Now my hand is sticky, no thank you. Not for me, not at all. I do not like licorice and salt does not help. I can tell you for certain, if you don't like licorice, salt does not help. <laughs> I have to go wash my hands now, I'll be right back. No, no thank you. Not for me, not at all for me. Oh my gosh, by the way, I wear glasses. The only reason why I don't wear the glasses in the video is because of stuff like this. I haven't quite figured out how to do the lighting with my glasses on, though I gotta say, I prefer wearing them. Oh well, not for me, not at all, not for me. So that was salted herring without actually being herring and just black licorice and gross for me. I'm, I don't want to be mean. I mean, a friend gave it to me, so I don't want to be mean, but that is not something I would ever, ever buy for myself. Thank you for watching this video. And if you listen to my shows, you know, I like to say thank you for tuning in. Maybe I'll just start doing that in my videos anyway. Like I know you're watching, but every fiber of my being wants to say thank you for tuning in just because I'm usually on the radio and not in front of a camera. If you're new here and you're curious about what I'm talking about in terms of those radio shows, I am the current music director of 88.1 WCRX FM, the student run radio station of Columbia College, Chicago. And I have two shows on this station on Thursday nights is an alternative rock show called Two Hours of Alternative on WCRX. And on Saturday night is Saturday Night Jazz because I'm not creative with show names. Both shows 
shows are from 7 to 9 p.m. So if you want to tune in from somewhere that's like not around this building, just go to WCRXFM.com. Hey guys, so I just wanted to apologize for the fact that uh, the video went up really late, not even like Monday early morning late, but like a day and a half to two days late. I don't actually know at this point as I'm filming this, but I just wanted to apologize. I'm not going to go into the details of what happened over the weekend and why I wasn't able to edit um, and get it up in time. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to apologize for that. I'm still trying to get these videos up on Sunday. Uh, we'll get to that point eventually. I'm still learning, you know, we'll get there. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, of course, you know, let me know. <laughs> If you liked this video, give that like button a click. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell to be notified when we upload because while I will be uploading on Sundays, kind of for the most part, videos from other students will be going up on the channel as well. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of that. Comment down below if you have anything you wanna say. I don't really care what it is. However, if you have any weird food recommendations, that would be fantastic. I will see all of you again next Sunday with more strange stories and maybe some strange food, hopefully, because that's honestly a lot of fun.